Hello my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Trying to find tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload. All right. I bought us some new decks. I really enjoy the messages on this deck in particular. It's regarding life and career. All right. And then we'll get into it with the... Um, the rest of the decks, the Kipper, I'll pull some love oracles, and away we go. All right. Two overall energies for my beautiful Scorpio. All right. One more. Okay. Oh, beautiful. All right. So our overall energies are cutting ties and guidance. All right. There's a pair of scissors on here. So... You need to cut yourself loose, all right? Cut things away from you that no longer serve you. Cut things off of you that are holding you back, all right? Let's see, cutting ties. You may need to leave your current position and look for something better. Ending a job doesn't mean burning bridges. Go with grace, all right? That's just what I said, okay? Something's not working out for you. Something is holding you back. Something has you in your head um, and you might be letting it take control of you. And it's a major distraction. You got to get rid of it. Okay. You got to know your self-worth. You have to hold yourself in higher regards to know that you don't deserve to be in this type of energy. Okay. Cut it off. <laughs> All right, and then we have guidance here with the beautiful angel, all right? And I feel like you've been guided to do, do so, all right? Maybe you're just having a difficult time finding how, all right? But just listen to your intuition, all right? If, if you've been feeling a little off balance and things aren't right, it's, it's whatever this issue is that's kind of holding you back and holding you down, and it's not meant for you, okay? But here's the angel. It says guidance. Divine forces are showing you the way to go. <laughs> you are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. All right. I mean, what else can I say? That's, that's absolutely correct. All right. Um, I feel like your intuition is, is really pulling at you right now. You might have to make the effort, make the moves, and just get out of your own way, all right? And cutting the ties that that have been keeping you stagnant in one spot, all right? Because you're meant for so much more, all right? Let's get two love oracles for my beautiful Scorpio. Scorpio in love. Scorpio in love. Oh my gosh, did you see how that flew? All right, there might be a person of interest that might be a little bit of a, you know, per person of interest at a distance, okay? Did you see how that flew, okay? You might be a plane right away. We don't know. More for my Scorpio. Okay, oh my gosh. We have very soon. Hold on just one second, please. <laughs> Hi, Scorpio. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. So um, the two cards that we pulled from the Romance Angel is past life relationship. The message on the card is you have known each other before. And then we have very soon. The message on this card is clearly decide what you want. So let it come to you now. All right, I feel like there is a little recognition that happened for my Scorpio. I'm feeling like maybe a love at first sight energy. Somehow you cross paths with this person and they're all you can think about right now. Or this is the cross watcher. They can't get their Scorpio off of their mind. All right. And I feel like somebody's going to take some action with very soon here and express their feelings because I'm just feeling like that moth to a flame energy, all right? Like somebody, 
um, is just really drawn to the Scorpio right now and they need to express their feelings because they feel like this has been a past life relationship. They knew you from lifetimes ago, okay? <laughs> Aww. I'm also hearing love of my lifetimes. All right, love of my lifetimes. That's very sweet. All right. Um, and maybe if you or they are in a relationship as it stands, they need to, they're doing what they have to to cut off that other connection so they can be with you, Scorpio, okay? Or Scorpio cross watcher. Or like, yeah, okay. All right, let's get into it with the Kipper. There's some, there's some other cord cutting that needs to go on. I think that there's like four other energies that are, that have like formed an attachment towards, towards you, Scorpio. Okay. This could be regarding, um, your career or, you know, being at a place that just, you don't like to wake up and go to every day. And um, it's just like a drain on your energy field. So you might not have to um, look for another position. Maybe there's no opportunity for growth at the place where you're at. And um, you're just like, this isn't this for me, okay? I have, <laughs> I can take my talent elsewhere, okay? <laughs> um, but I'm also feeling just like, there's just like these other energies that um, kind of have, their hooks in you and have really been distracting you from your goals all right and it's been a hard time hard time to like separate from them all right the adjudication card wanted to come out so I know that if you have your suffering sort of any legal issues all right that is something that um kind of you know, holds you back or something that definitely gets in the way, all right? It's something that you can't avoid, something that you have to deal with, okay? Or maybe somebody was placing judgment on you, judging you, creating like a false, I don't know, like a false narrative, but I believe karma is here for those people that did that to you, all right? Um, and you really need to free yourself from their negative energy. Okay, so there's that. But I am, I'm feeling like there's at least four strings that are attached to you. And they could be all different things. They don't have to be particular people. They could just be situations that you're having a difficult time working your way out of, all right? But I feel that there is definitely some some cord cutting cord cutting happening. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And some of these are enemies. Some of these are negative energies that you would consider opposition. That you would consider enemies. Okay. And I just want you to know that the Lord will rise you above the heads of your enemies. All right. And, and the good old Lord's prayer of no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And that is, that is a very truthful statement right now. Okay. So fear nothing. All right. Fear nothing, Scorpio. All right. Yeah, you may have been dealing with some sort of legalities here, all right? That is just totally distracting you from your goals, your career, your love life. You have been really able to um, give attention to these things that really need attention because you're dealing with whatever you're going through in the legal system, okay? And I think it has to do with these awful people or these enemies or these oppositions of yours, all right? It's very hard to detach from them, especially when they draw you into the court system, okay? But I think you're making the moves, you're making the effort, and things are gonna be resolved for you very, very shortly here. Because you got some brand new energy, brand new opportunities, I'm feeling a fruitful beginning, in love 
and I feel like you might have a change in your career, okay? I feel like you're moving up in ranks here with the angel, all right? <laughs> and this is like a golden angel. Do you see all this gold and abundance here? So that's some happiness. That's some warmth. All right. One more for my Scorpio. Okay. Occupation. I know I just said something about your career. So, um... I think, yeah, I think you, I think whatever you do for work is sustaining you, but I think you, what you can do is really elevate what you do, like take it to the next level and even be more successful. I think you have like a brand new approach to what you're doing and I think you need to go with it because I think in the end, it's going to make you more money. All right. <laughs> And I think you're working on it. And I think a brand new opportunity in career might be presenting itself also. I feel like you're in like the next phase of your life, okay? I feel like, a next, like the next chapter is starting for you. Yeah. This brand new energy is going to be so appreciated and so welcomed, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and um, as far as this love connection goes, <clears throat> you also have to put your fear aside, okay? I feel like you have an intense connection with somebody and they make you really nervous, Scorpio or Scorpio cross watcher. Because it's something you really haven't felt with anybody else, all right? Like I said, it was like this instant connection. And you can't get it off your mind, whatever you try to do, okay? And I think you've been really trying to even avoid it or ignore it. But it's just, it's, you can't. It's always, it's always on your mind, Scorpio or Scorpio Cross Watcher. All right, let's get into it with the tarot. <clears throat> or for my Scorpio in this situation. What about Scorpio and their legal situation? Oh, here it is. Some shady, shifty business. All right. Um, this is somebody entering a place that they're not welcomed. Okay. Somebody sneaking in. Somebody sneaking out. Somebody being sneaky, period. All right. Somebody taking information um, with the swords here. Somebody using things that you said things that you've written, um, but they're using it against you, okay? I'm feeling like blackmail energy, but I think this person was a little sloppy, all right? They left something behind. They tried to do whatever they did and not have it tied back to them, but it is being tied back to them, and they're going to be found guilty, okay? All right. What exactly is the Seven of Swords for my Scorpio? Okay, something from the past. All right, it could be, I don't know, people take, <laughs> it, it could be um, a connection you had a while ago. At one point, it was very loving. You had really good memories with this person, but I don't know. It's whatever went awry, okay? And now people that were like really close, people that you had fond memories with, pulled a shifty play, all right? And the courts had to get involved, all right? So this is definitely, you're dealing with people from your past, ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, or these could be family members, okay? Like people that you grew up with. People that you would never think would do you dirty, but they did, okay? All right. <laughs> okay. We have the three of cups here. So let the good times roll here. This is the card of celebration. This is the card of taking it easy. This is the card of letting your hair down, having a few drinks, dancing around, you know, 
flirty, lighthearted energy here with the Three of Cups. Um, if this is the new energy that, that you're walking into, okay? Having a little fun, spicing it up. Um, if it's pertaining to this past energy, um, the third parties represent cheating. This is representing, you know, people that aren't faithful, third party situations and so forth. So this could be pertaining to like a, you know, a separation or a divorce regarding adultery, maybe. Okay. Let's get into this new love situation for my Scorpio. Oh, okay. The moon is here. Okay. So the moon only gives us enough light to maneuver around in the dark so we don't break our toes. Okay. <laughs> the moon is um, very secretive, very secretive energy. Not everything is revealed. Not everything's ready to be revealed. Okay. So you could de be dealing with another water sign like yourself. The the moon represents the feminine. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I think that for protective reasons, you're not letting your crush or the love for your crush out in the open or this is the energy that's coming in for you because I believe if this is divinely guided union it's divinely protected as well okay all right because i feel like this is past energy whatever this mess is with the scissors <laughs> could try to you know try to have an effect on anything else good that's coming towards you okay all right more for my scorpio okay I know I said something at a distance with the way that card flew out, okay? It's, and when I, it was the past life card, the past life relationship, and it just flew. And I said, oh, this could be a, you could be at a plane right away or, you know, a road trip away. But this is the two of wands. It represents distance. It represents um, a choice, a choice in love too, like being at the crossroads and having to make a decision. So... I think there's a decision that has to be made, all right? And it could be regarding this this new person that you want to be involved with. Um, aw, okay. Um, all right, so these are the two of wands. The wands take action, all right? And like I said, it represents distance. But there's this key here, and there's this key. And there's a green thread here, and there's a red thread, and they're in and they're entwined around this key. So this key is gonna unlock your box, which is your heart, your heart chakra, and their key is gonna like what did I say? I'm sorry, I'm getting confused here. This key is gonna unlock your heart to them and their heart to you. All right. This is the common thread that's bringing you both together. And there's just one key, all right? So this key opens up both of you. <laughs> that's really cute. All right, more for my Scorpio. Okay, so whatever this is, is taking its time, all right? Um, the fruit doesn't grow on the tree over the overnight, okay? The seed has to be planted, and you need to give it time to grow, all right? And this could be regarding your career. It could be regarding your finances. It could re be regarding your love life, all right? But the seed has been planted. Now, whether you've been nurturing that seed, only you would know, all right? If you're nurturing your seed, your seed's going to grow, and it's going to grow into abundance, all right? Um with the seven of pentacles here, it really shows somebody tending to their garden, somebody making the effort, you know, somebody nurturing, you know, nurturing that seed. All right. And before you know it, that that seed's growing into a tree and that tree is going to bear fruit. 
And sooner or later, you're going to be eating really, really good, Scorpio, okay? You're going to be able to harvest, okay? And these are the fruits of your labor. All right, one more for my beautiful Scorpio to wrap this all up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we have the King of Wands here. So, Scorpio, maybe you're really... Um, you really need to take the leadership role. You really need to make things happen. The King of Wands makes things happen. He takes action. He lights that fire under it. There's always a fire going in this guy's belly, okay? Um, he's really attractive. He's really confident. He really trusts himself. He takes those risks. He takes those leaps of faith and he gets what he wants. And I think this is showing because this is the energy the Scorpio needs to be in or this is the energy that's coming to get my Scorpio, okay? The hottest king in the deck. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to leave it there for my Scorpio. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. Okay, till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.